going to be talking about my locks for UFC Fight Night, Sandhagen vs. Font. So yeah, these will be the fights. The fighters I, uh, I think are definitely a lock to win. So I'm going to start off with Diego Lopez. I, uh, I definitely favor him in this fight against Gavin Tucker. A lot bigger. You know, he's got a fucking 10, 12. Holy fuck. He's got like a, there's like a 17 centimeter reach advantage. That's fucking massive. He's 28, so he's got the youth there. Gavin Tuck is 37, which is really old for a featherweight and hasn't fought for so long. And just stylistically, Gavin Tucker, you know, he's taken a lot of damage. Been KO'd in his last fight against Dan Ige very quickly. So, you know, he was out for a while. And, yeah, I think I think Diego Lopez has this one in the bag. You know, he's inactive. He's young. Look at how he did against Mosvay Ivalev, you know, on short notice. He looked really good that fight. He's got KO power, got wins by KO, got good submissions. I think he'll uh, KO Gavin Tucker in this fight. Looking uh, looking at it, but, you know, Diego Lopez in general is a lock, though. I don't know the exact method. I'd say he could KO him or he could sub him. He's got so many ways to win this. And I think Gavin Tucker is just dumb, you know. He's 37, like I say. That's old for a featherweight. Hasn't he hasn't fought for two years, and when he did, he got knocked out. So that's not a good look. So yeah, I like I like uh, Diego Lopez a lot in this fight. And then uh, moving on to my second lock of the card, it's uh, it's the man. This card was built around Corey Sandhagen. I like Corey Sandhagen in this fight quite a lot. You know, Rob Font's coming in on short notice. 140 pound catch weight, so that does help Rob, Rob Font a little bit. Maybe he'll be a bit more durable, not having to cut an extra five pounds. But yeah, I think this stylistically this is a really good matchup for Corey Sandhagen. His, his worst matchups are like people who give him like lots of different things to think about. But with Rob Font, all he's got to really watch out for is the boxing. I think. Sandhagen's got the better kick game, better knees, the better overall striking. At this point, probably the better grappling. His grappling looked really good against uh, Song Yadong. And, oh, and uh, yeah, looked really good against Cheeto Vera too. Just took him down and mauled him. So he's also got that as a way to win. But yeah, I really like Corey Sandhagen in this fight. Plus, he was actually preparing for five rounds. Rob Font was preparing for a free rounder against Song Yadong, so that also is another thing that favors Corey Sandhagen here. So, yeah, it just seems like everything's in favor of Corey Sandhagen in this fight. So, watch Rob Font get a first round KO. Nah. But, uh, yeah, I'm very confident in Corey Sandhagen here. He, I think he's going to get a flying knee KO, but. He could also just, like, beat on him for five rounds because Sandhagen's got really good cardio as well. Rob Font is, like, an amazing fighter, though. Let me just say this, but his, like, durability really hurts him. He could be, like, beating the shit out of Sandhagen, and then Sandhagen could land, like, a really good shot and just drop him, and then he'll lose the round that way. Like, against Cheeto Vera, he was, like, the best fighter, like, I've ever seen, but he just his durability just hurt him so much, like... I don't know, Rob Font always looks so good, but then his durability just fails him. He's never been KO'd, though. But I think that's going to change this fight just because we've seen him get hurt so much and taken so much damage. So, yeah, I think Corey Sandhagen's going to stop him in this fight. But, yeah, overall, Corey Sandhagen's a lock in my opinion. So my two locks of the card are Diego Lopez and Corey Sandhagen. So uh, do with this information what you will. Last week, both my locks of the card won. It was uh, Roman Kopilov and Gabriel Bonfim. Which I'm pretty sure they'll decent sized favourites, but I was like very certain, I was very confident they'll win. If I say a fight is a lock of the card, then uh, they're definitely a lock of the card. So now that I've jinxed Diego Lopez and Corey Sandhagen, go put all your money on Gavin Tucker and uh, uh, Rob Font to win by brutal first round KO. Because yeah, I've definitely just jinxed them now. But uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Can't wait for tomorrow's card, should be a good one.